Now consider God, the supreme reality. The Father can produce an image that is perfect, a perfect reproduction of his own being, possessing the mind, will, personality, freedom, power, love, simplicity of the Father. So indeed we say in that same creed that the Son is God from God, light from light, true God from true God. The Son is an utterly perfect imago, image of the Father. We say indeed consubstantial with the Father, one in being. Okay? Now from all eternity the Father looks at the Son. The Son looks back at the Father. What do they see? Each sees the utter perfection, beauty, goodness, and truth of the other. And so they naturally, necessarily, automatically fall in love with each other. To use Fulton Sheen's beautiful phrase, they, they sigh their love for each other. That sigh, that holy breath, we call the Spiritus Sanctus, the holy breath, the Holy Spirit. God is a communio, a communion, a family of image making and communication. The Son is eternally begotten of the Father, and the Holy Spirit uh, proceeds from the Father and the Son. Now, from our perspective, we only know the perspective of time, how things happen within time. Uh, and so it would seem that within time, if a Father exists, and then uh, He begets a Son, and, and then the two of them uh, have such great free love for each other that that creates somehow or begets a, a third person that it would seem as though well the the father or the, the son and the holy spirit are dependent upon the father but that's not the understanding of, of this from a uh, much more highly theological perspective in, where we recognize that this happens eternally it it's a constant um in a, a it's always happening it has always happened there wasn't a time that the sun did not exist there was not a time that the holy spirit did not exist in fact uh, they exist outside of time and that's hard for us to understand but uh, that word eternity and e eternally begotten is very important to to really understanding this relationship and the only way we really distinguish from between the persons of the Trinity is their relationships with each other. Um, so it's, it's good that you you understand that Jesus or that the second person, the Son, is begotten, and the Holy Spirit is is um, it is often recognized as this great love between the Father and the Son is so great that it's another person. But we have to get away from thinking of it in in a sort of succession within time because it's something that happens eternally and and the, the son and the holy spirit uh, there was never a time when they did not exist